it was um, performed through the network of the Global Germ Cell Cancer Group and um, it was a retrospective data analysis and um, collection. The main findings were that the outcome of men with relapse after adjuvant BP is actually worse in comparison um, to patients with chemo-naive metastatic disease. However, it's still better compared to um, patients who relapse after having received chemo for metastatic disease. We also found a substantial rate of late and subsequent relapses. Um, quite remarkable was 29% of relapses occurring more than three years after adjuvant treatment and the latest even occurring 25 years after adjuvant treatment and 29% um, of the patients had subsequent relapses. I think the main thing is um, that you keep this in mind in the future. We would not recommend like continuing follow-up after adjuvant BEP for all patients of course because the relapse rate is so low um, but I think it's important to keep it in mind if a patient presents after a long time and he has had adjuvant BEP for non-seminoma some time ago that you keep it in mind it could be a recurrent germ cell cancer that you go for a proper biopsy and seek um, specialist pathology review to um, ask for differential diagnosis of a recurrent germ cell cancer. Um, well, we can't really um, recommend one clear treatment strategy. In our analysis, we found a remarkable diversity, which underlines the uncertainty how to manage this uh, situation. But we think um, rather going for a slight intensification and choosing a three-drug regimen and giving three to four cycles with the replacement of bleomycin by iphosphamide could at least be considered and discussed with patients. We have a negative selection, of course. We only focused um, on those with a relapse, so it might be we have a um, biologically unfavorable patient collection um, who have like chemorefractory disease in, in the end, but it's, the main reason will be a negative selection, of course. When interpreting it, it's of course important to uh, bear in mind that we have this negative selection um, and this does not affect the overall very good outcome for all patients and the general population receiving adjuvant BEP. So it should not be misinterpreted that our data influences the general good outcome. It's just like the selection of patients with a relapse and we wanted to give a bit of clinical advice um, on this rare situation, but our data does not influence the general um, good outcome after adjuvant BEP.